take time to be holy. Speak up with thy Lord. Abide in him always. And feed on his word. Make friends of God's children. Help those who are weak. Forgetting in nothing. His blessing to seek. Take time to be holy. The world rushes on. Spend much time in secret with Jesus alone. By looking to Jesus, like him thou shalt be. Thy friends in thy conduct, his likeness shall see. Take time to be holy. Let him be thy guide. And run not before him. Whatever be time, in joy or in sorrow, still follow thy Lord. And looking to Jesus, still trust in his word. Take time to be holy, be calm in thy soul. Each thought and each temper beneath his control. Thus, led by his spirit to fountains of love, thou shalt. Soon be fitter for service aboard. It's a wonderful time for us to be together again. I am so happy the Lord prepared this time for you. Amen. You are going to see the presence of God here. I give thanks to God who has chosen to make himself manifest unto us. And this is according to his promise. If ye love me, keep my commandment and I will love you and will make myself known to you. And I will manifest myself unto you if a man has my commandment and loves me the father will love him i will love him and we will come into him and make our abode with him i'm so happy that god is with us you are the reason why i am happy you are the reason why I am singing. You are the reason why I am joying, Jehovah. You are the reason why I am here. You are the reason why I am preaching. You are the reason why I am talking, Jehovah. I say, Jehovah, you are. Jehovah, I say Jehovah, Jehovah, you are the most I father, you are the most I Jesus, you are the most I master, you are the most I go, Jehovah, you are the most I Jehovah, I say Jehovah, you are the Jehovah, I say Jehovah, you are the you are the most high God. Almighty Father, we are so grateful. You've made yourself alive. You have made yourself practical. And how particularly you have chosen to do so uniquely in this movement. Why? Because you said holiness is your name. You are the holiness revival movement yourself. The holiness of God is going around the world, reviving the world. Preparing the world for the rapture. We are grateful to welcome you here. We are grateful to sit in the presence of God here. Thank you, Lord, for sending us here and coming along with us. We are just a human representative. 
the whole thing you do it yourself thank you for the children that you have brought to you here all you have brought you have drawn to yourself for you say if i i am lifted up i will draw all men unto me see them not drawn to you you will bless them you will touch them Amen. you will prepare them Amen. you will purify them Amen. you will give them heaven Amen. thank you so much for answering our prayers the devil is ashamed the devil is embarrassed the devil is defeated for the people are coming on to god hallelujah Amen. in jesus name we pray Amen. Be seated. You know, very often we hear people say Jesus is weeping. That is true. Because considering the state of the world, the sins of the world the wickedness of man right in the face of god jesus actually weeps wow how man considers his sacrifice as nothing why how man is unthankful to the living God and how man is perishing in hell indeed he weeps but I want to announce to you the other side of Jesus in the other side of Jesus he is rejoicing so I am talking to you all jesus christ is rejoicing everybody say it say it again yes you think he will not rejoice as there is darkness so there is light as there is the dark side so there is the bright side i am talking about the side that needs jesus to rejoice i'm talking about the side that needs jesus to sing and glory i'm talking about the side that needs jesus to bless the father god is happy look at it in the book of luke chapter 10 I read Luke chapter 10 verse 1 Luke chapter 10 verse 1 verse 2 verse 9 verse 16 all through to 24 after these things the Lord appointed other seventy also and sent them two and two before his face into every city and place whither he himself would come. Therefore said he unto them, The harvest truly is plenteous, but the laborers are few pray ye therefore the lord of the harvest that he would send forth laborers into the harvest verse 9 and heal the sick that are daring and say unto them the kingdom of god is come near unto you verse 16 to 24 he that heareth you heareth me and he that despised you despised despised me 
And he that despised me, despised him that sent me. And the servant returned again with joy, saying, Lord, even the devils are subject unto us to thy name. And he said unto them, I beheld Satan as lightning fall from heaven. Behold, I give unto you power to trade on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy. And nothing shall by any means hurt you. Notwithstanding, in this rejoice not that the spirits are subject unto you but rather rejoice because your names are written in heaven in that hour jesus rejoiced in spirit and said i thank thee O father lord of heaven and earth that thou hast hid these things from the wise and prudent and has revealed them unto birds even so father for so it seemed good in thy sight all things are delivered to me of my father and no man knoweth the father know who the son is but the father and who the father is but the son and he to whom the son will reveal him and he turned him unto his disciples and said privately blessed are the eyes which see the things that ye see for i tell you that many prophets and kings have desired to see those things which ye see and have not seen them and to hear those things which ye hear and have not had them i am a blessed man who are you who are you i am blessed for the things i see which things many people prophets even ministers of the gospel desire to see but have not seen desire to hear but have not heard the lord chose it to do it graciously through me in my sight in my presence for me that's the same thing with you he chose to do it in our midst it's wonderful how could heaven a saint in heaven speaking speaking to us as we are seated like this another marvelous work of God directly a divine presence filled everywhere this is God we are grateful unto him wow I'm telling you Jesus is rejoicing because Jesus is happy he will do everything for us that preset me glorified me and to him that all that his conversation arrived will I show the salvation of the Lord that's what he's doing exactly now you see the scripture that the Lord sent out his preachers or disciples to heal the sick and cast out devils he sent them forth to preach his word what is his word see what he told them in Luke chapter 10 verse 9 and heal the sick that are therein and say unto them the kingdom of God is come near unto you the kingdom of God the rule of God has come to you you are to take it you are to accept it the kingdom of God goes with his righteousness 
Seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. Go and tell the people the righteousness of God is around you. It is you to accept it. It's you to embrace it. Take it. Go and tell the kingdom the rule of God. God wants to rule over me. Do you want to be one of the people? Go and ask them. Go and ask them that God wants to take over the life of me in this earth. He wants to put his authority over me in this life. He wants to put to stand his nature in me in this life. Are they willing? That's the gospel. The kingdom of God is near you. Are you willing? Go and ask them. Heal the sick that are among you. He told the people, represent me among the men by exemplary life of righteousness and holiness. Go and represent me. Why? He that heareth you, heareth me. He that receiveth you, receiveth me. Be as I am before the people. Let not your life repel those people. My life does not repel people. My life does not drive people away. Let them not see any mistake, any sin in your life. Because they don't see me. They don't see me in sin. That's what he was telling the preachers. People don't see me in sin. As you are going out to preach this gospel, let there be no sin in your life. Represent me. See, you are representing the Father. For he that received I mean, receive me, received the Father also. He that rejects me rejects the father also. Now, if he that receives you receives me, that hears from you, hears from me, then it means he that receives you receives the father. He that hears your word has heard the word of the father, which means you're representing God. I make you to represent God in this life. Preachers, my disciples, as you go for preaching, represent me in life, in character. Represent God, for God is light, and in Him there's no darkness at all. Go and be light in the world, for ye are the light of the world. Go and be light. So, that's what I'm saying. The people went forth. These disciples were faithful and true. They were committed to the commission. Committed to the commission. They were violent against the devils in the name of Jesus. They went forth and preached. They went forth with his authority and character. Lifestyle. Yes. They brought to Jesus good report of their mission they told jesus the success of their mission it was a joyful time when you do this work correctly you will be joyful jesus will be joyful what a joyful moment we have that souls are turning unto the lord souls are turning unto the lord Souls are turning unto the Lord. There's a song that says, I am so happy. Then someone is asking, Why are you so happy? I know that I am saved. I know that I am saved. That's why I am happy. More than that. Many, 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 many are turning to my Lord. Many, many from all over the world, they are turning to my Lord. I said they are turning to my Lord. I am seeing righteousness everywhere. I go here, righteousness will spring up. People will throw away evil and embrace my Lord. So, the works of the devil get destroyed. The power of Satan destroyed. People's God get free from the hand of the devil. That gives me joy. Look at it. I'm telling you, Jesus is rejoicing. 
and we are rejoicing with Jesus this moment look at it in verse 17 and the, the, and the 70 returned again with joy say Lord even the devils I subject unto us through thy name Lord they can be choosing I am telling you we are joyful I am telling you there is joy in serving the Lord in serving him faithfully in living the true Christian life as the minister and disciple of Jesus there is joy he that winneth soul is wise Paul talked to the Thessalonian Christian you are my the crown of my rejoicing I'm happy I'm joyful because many 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 are turning to my Lord I listen to their testimonies I hear the testimonies from the young I hear the testimonies from the great I hear the testimony from men I hear the testimonies from women what God is doing in their lives oh give a clap offering to Jesus it's a moment of joy it's a moment of joy the world is turning to him amen the world is turning to my Lord the world is turning to my Lord Jesus himself I said that he himself witnessed the fall of Satan and his power under the ministry of his of the disciples that he sent out yeah he witnessed the fall of Satan I'm happy I say I'm happy the power of the devil is destroyed the power of the devil over men over women over nations over cities over the villages over churches are destroyed what a job Jesus said I saw Satan when you went there Hey, there's some things are wonderful you know some things are so good are you hearing me do you want to hear them I say do you want to hear them hey you know we're just coming from crusade amen and then it was a serious time it will be serious here it was a serious time in that place witches and wizards didn't know it was going to be like that it was great the last night of that crusade the deliverance that the Lord did mighty power thundering from heaven it was great all the witches and the, the kingdom of darkness surrounding there they had to leave release the people of God even witches and wizards who wanted to be born again had their freedom I said they had their freedom you will have your freedom here in Jesus name then that uh, that we, we, we was we we did we had this wonderful time on Saturday night yes Monday now the Lord came to open our eyes to see what happened to the kingdom of darkness in that place how can we not rejoice for God doing a sincere work for God moving among us it's witches and wizards they gather their leaders gather come and see them it is, it, there was a bomb blast among them because the face of one would burn down this way some paralyzed they, they came and were crying that things have been that their witchcraft pot broken the blood they have been storing poured down and say shrines broken I'm telling you this, they were crying and saying that now you, you, you think they have to, to do witchcraft in that place they have to start afresh <laughs> they will start afresh like uh, termites as they build the hill will march it down again yeah. hallelujah yeah. they begin to they began to lament over holiness movement so they are sending signal all around the country that we should be aware of these people they came here and uh, we cannot stand so they should beware so witches and wizards are here are informed 
that we are coming you hear me they have been informed that what is happening that what is happening that there is going to be a crusade here and that it will be the crusade of holiness revival movement wow, wow. Hey, the holiness of God rings the light of God shines and therefore God delivers himself in full power so now that they have announced Jesus is here remember he is the captain of this movement so he is here same result there will be the same result in this place look at it so Jesus not confirmed it I saw it as you wait about doing that war the devil could not have his balance the devil could not have his balance and then he said behold I give unto you power I give unto you power the power that I have given to you is to destroy the works of darkness in the authority of Christ satanic works will be destroyed in this place yeah. now the Lord is working with a difference there, oh, you don't understand maybe you will understand as we move forward you will understand the more you come to the lie the more you see the closer you are to the lie the more you begin to you begin to shine out that's how it is with God the closer we get to him the more he releases himself we have decided to go right in I said we have decided to go right in and be so close to God that he might release his fullness upon us and the Lord is happy so it's like give unto you power to tread upon serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy nothing shall by enemies hurt you that's God nothing shall by enemies hurt you notwithstanding I want to tell you something my disciples something I see in you that gives me the greatest joy is that your names are written in heaven there are people that go forth to walk there are people that go forth to preach they don't have my life their names are not in heaven their names are not in the book of life they are pastors they are teachers they are prophets they walk but their names are not there names are not there my presence is according to as according as they are in their own service but you you are walking with my righteousness you have got my righteousness you are my representatives indeed your names are in the book of life jesus was happy the bible tells us in verse 21 of chapter 10 of the book of Luke it says in that hour Jesus rejoiced in spirit and said I thank thee O Father Lord of heaven and earth that thou hast hid these things from the wise and prudent and has revealed them unto babes even so father for for so, i mean even so father for so it seemed good in thy side jesus rejoiced he was very happy in the spirit that's the other side of Jesus I want to talk to you about the other side there is the weeping side of Jesus there's the rejoicing side of Jesus 
we are in the rejoicing sight of Jesus we are making him to rejoice we are making him to laugh when our fellow creatures over there men and women and children are making him to cry we are on the other side on the right hand side of Jesus we are blessing him we are making him glad we are making him happy Jesus is laughing before us Jesus is laughing he rejoiced in the spirit is it happy all things are delivered to me of my father and Numa knew who the father is Numa knew who the son is but the father and who the father is but the son and he to whom the son will reveal him Jesus was glad that he the father had revealed him indeed to his disciples he was glad the father the people had known him from their hearts know him in total salvation they are born again not ministers after the flesh Simon flesh and I say unto thee flesh and blood has not revealed this unto thee but my father who dwells in heaven my father made this revelation that you know of me now what people say i'm john the baptist and i say i am elias and i say i am one of the prophets but you cannot put the truth it is in your heart it is it has affected your life it has put forth righteousness in you I'm telling you, my father did that revelation. What a joy that you have known me by the working of the father. What a joy that you are following me because your eyes have been opened to, the, to know me by the power of the father. I am so happy. Jesus was God. He's happy for you that have truly known God. That God the Father revealed him to you. You have known Jesus in your heart. Your heart has taken a proper grip of Jesus Christ. Your heart has, total, has taken a proper hold of Jesus Christ manifested by the life of righteousness. Manifested by your commitment to Jesus. Having known who he is, he is God. And he said, No man knoweth the Father, but he to whom the Son shall reveal him. Wonderful. And I write unto you, little children, for ye have known the Father. I write unto you, young men, for ye have known him that has been from the beginning. Jesus has introduced the Father to you. Ha, this is good thing. I'm telling you, there's the joyful sight of Jesus the side where he sees reality where he sees truth where he sees people that have got the vision of righteousness they have understood the father they have understood him they are living the life of the father they are children of the father children of light children of peace children of righteousness the lord is happy with them god is happy with you there are churches that iniquities go on there the choir members are a bundle of iniquity the preachers are a bundle of corruption everything going on there is a mess they call upon the name of Jesus. When he looked at them, he 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 bleeds. He bleeds afresh. His hands sent for blood. Blood starts falling again. They have not known him. The 
they have not understood the message but here is a group of people that have known him that have known the father and are living the righteous life what a joy I am saying for your sake Jesus is rejoicing I am saying for your sake God is happy how that's it you know in the revelation the Lord gave he was so happy for what for that crusade the crusade we just came from last week he was so happy for that crusade he said I am happy when my people engage me like this engage me where righteousness is where holiness is he is happy because there he is free hey the lord is here is he free is he free your righteousness and holiness has made him free you have understood the gospel you have got the gospel your face is shining out of the light of god he is free in that revelation angel michael was smiling he said he, he was happy he said i'm normally very happy when true people are meeting like this and i have to come and deal with satan when i see satan running and i'm destroying his walls i smile in our midst that is it jaw jaw yes father I'm happy that you hid these things from the wise and prudent for the Pharisees for the Pharisees we still have space inside let the people also come in for the Pharisees and the Sadducees and the scribes they feel they were wise God hid these things from them he hid these things from the wise they felt that they were prudent God hid these things from the prudent of the earth hid it let not the rich man glory in his riches let, let not the wise man glory in his in his wisdom neither let the mighty man glory in his might but let him that glory it. glory in this that he knoweth me and on he knoweth and understandeth me that i am the lord who exercises righteousness judgment and loving kindness upon the earth for in these things i delight said the lord you have hit these things from the wise and prudent and have revealed it to bed even so it seems good to your sight that's God that's God what a privilege where did we get the privilege we were meek in our heart we were lowly in our heart we were humble in our heart where did we get this privilege we hungered and tested after righteousness and we're still hungering and we're tasting after righteousness and the lord is feeling us that's why this privilege has come to us this privilege we're true men we're true men we are righteous men we are sincere we are bearing this world out of the purity of heart we represent him indeed he has seen our heart god has seen our heart i told you jesus is rejoicing see the sight of jesus rejoicing he's not always a crying jesus he's a showing jesus because some new things have, have happened and have begun to spread what is what is seen Luke chapter
chapter 10 verse 2 Therefore said he unto them The harvest truly is great But the laborers are few Pray ye therefore The Lord of the harvest That he would send forth laborers Into his harvest What is giving Jesus joy why? One, true and committed laborers have been sent into the labor who preach the word of truth, righteousness, and holiness. God has sent them. Are they here? I say, God has sent true and faithful laborers. The others have corrupted the harvest. The others were harvesting for themselves. The others were pitching for their own glory. The others were using their own power. The others were promoting themselves. The Lord was not seeing the work. The Lord was not seeing the work. The others were lazy. They only come and run around the harvest. They don't do any harvest at all. What they are doing is not harvest at all. And now God has produced, raised up two laborers. Rejoice, all world, for the Lord has sent for two laborers among you. Two laborers. The Father has raised them up in answer to the prayers of the Son. In answer to the prayers of the saints. The Father has sent sent for laborers, two laborers, faithful laborers, and they are going round now. Preaching the gospel of truth. Preaching the gospel of righteousness. Preaching the gospel of holiness. We rejoice to announce that we, God has raised us up through laborers. God has raised us up through preachers. God has given us the grace and we do it to preach the truth. To preach righteousness. To preach holiness. Yes. That is what God has done. And this is rejoicing the heart of the Lord. We are here to preach Him. We are here to exalt Jesus. We are here to preach the darkness of righteousness. We are here to open your eyes. That you might see the glory of the Lord. We are here to get your sins forgiven. Get you purged out of sin. Purge your, get sins purged out of your life. That's what we are here to achieve. We're here to get you delivered from all corruption of life. We're here that the power of heaven might come upon you. That his kingdom will come on you. The rule of God will come on you. The righteousness of God will cover your life. That's what we're here to do. And by the, by the truth we preach. By the scriptures we preach. And by the correct interpretation we give to the word of God. There shall be salvation. There shall be deliverances. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. So Jesus is happy. My brother is happy. My sister, the Lord is happy. Our God is happy in our midst. He is smiling now. He is rejoicing now. The angels are joining before him. Because of true workers. Because of true laborers. Have you joined these laborers? That make God happy? Have you joined these true preachers? That make Jesus happy every day. That wherever you are going, his eyes are with you. Beholding they that of a perfect heart. His eyes are moving, moving to and fro. Look at you where you are. How beautiful at the feet of them that preach the gospel of peace. That declare to Israel, say, Thy God reigned. God is happy with them. God is happy with you. I said, God is happy with you. You ministers of holiness revival movement. A saint that entered heaven last year has sent message to you saying, Thank you, horrible preachers, for sending me to heaven. You have sent someone there. People are making heaven through your preaching, through your effort. Jesus is happy. Again. <laughs> yes, we are true and faithful. Making the Lord happy. Proper representation of his person in righteousness and holiness is now 
clearly seen among men. Clearly seen. The sons of Sceva said, Jesus, we know. Paul represents him, and we know. But who are you? There are people going about preaching. There are people going about establishing churches. There are evangelists and pastors that are not known. Devil doesn't know them. Heaven doesn't know them. Because their life is not of God. God is not in their lives. What they do is different. They pregnant women. They embezzle money. They lie with men and say they're ministers. They commit immorality from one place to the other. Committing immorality. And say they're singing for Jesus. They have a voice. But they employ the power of Satan to sing all those songs. And to release all those plays. God doesn't know them. Jesus doesn't know them. No. They are, they are vessels unto dishonor. They are vessels unto dishonor in the great house. Not to the honor of God. God is not pleased with them. He's not pleased with their works. He's not pleased with their congregation. He's not pleased with their, with their progress. He is not pleased. They are the ones that make him cry. They make him cry. Sinners come to them and are deceived by them. And sinners become twice the source of hell by their ministry. But see another people. Hey, I'm telling you why Jesus is happy. Look at it in verse 16. He that heareth you heareth me. And he that despised you despised me. And he that despised me despised him that sent me. These are faithful ministers that have the, have the lifestyle of Jesus. They are the representatives of Jesus on earth. They preach, you see righteousness in them. They sing, you see righteousness in them. They pray, you see righteousness in them. They do everything in the ushering, you see righteousness in them. In the choir, you see righteousness in them. They teach the children, you see righteousness in them. They are prayer warriors, you see righteousness in them. These are true and faithful, really representing Jesus on earth. They give Jesus joy. They give Jesus joy. They're happy. They're happy. Yes, Jesus is happy for them. Very happy. Now, what am I saying? I'm saying. This is a group of people that Jesus is happy with. Because of their lifestyle. Because of their uniqueness. They make Jesus happy. Make Jesus great. Preachers of righteousness. Teachers of righteousness. How holily and unblameably and justly they behave themselves among them that believe among them that believe at all i said something somewhere that a children teacher was teaching the children describing who jesus was and the description was in the character of jesus the humility of jesus the love of jesus the the, 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 the truth in Jesus the gentleness of Jesus the patience of Jesus when he was describing that personality a, a child that didn't understand that Jesus was God in heaven raised up his son I said what up we say I know him oh you knew him where is he he's our neighbor the child has seen someone there like Jesus. His character, his behavior, everything like Jesus. Oh, I know that man. What a joy. That man gave to Jesus. What a joy. But there it was sparingly. Here and there. But now a new work has started. From state to state they are there. Righteousness is springing up. Not sparingly anymore. God is doing a serious work. 
we have righteous men we have righteous women we have righteous youth we have righteous children come and see them purged sanctified cleansed shining of the glory of the lord and from nation to nation from city to city wherever they are all over the world all over the world the spirit is moving all over the world there is a mighty revelation of the glory of the lord as the waters cover the sea yes that's what the lord is doing righteous people are springing up in, in villages old men old women wonderful holy ghost is doing a new thing and god is happy jesus is rejoicing i'm so happy i'm happy jesus is happy hallelujah jesus is happy because he's properly represented now the, the, there's no more confused gospel in the side, other side there's confused gospel the people hear one thing and they say another thing but no not here not here here they both hear and see the righteousness of god they both hear and see the holiness of god the people the lord is raising up righteous people holy people what makes jesus to rejoice see it in verse 17 and the 70 returned again with joy saying lord even the devils are subject unto us through thy name and he said unto them i beheld satan as lightning fall from heaven behold i give unto you power to trade on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy and nothing shall by any means hurt you the 70 rejoiced they came with joy and say we had we saw real victory over satan we saw we experienced real victory over satan jesus christ is so happy that satan and his dark kingdom which have led the souls of men captive is being destroyed by a set of people the more righteous you are the more power you exercise over satan in the barrack soldiers are in rank your authority in the barrack your authority over me is according to your rank it's according to your rank how much more of those who are not even soldiers at all so jesus christ has raised up righteous people that the devil cannot accuse people that the devil cannot testify against jesus himself said the prince of this world coming but he seeth nothing in me <coughs> he findeth nothing in me so jesus is saying now i see a people that satan cannot condemn righteous up and down in and out righteous in their tongue pure in their heart the wild great force the wild great force and where they go satan corners evil bows before the good the wicked at the gates of the righteous i see people that say that has no reason why he will do anything against them satan has nothing it gives jesus joy it gives jesus gladness he is happy he will lay hand upon this one the devil will come and bring out some things on him what about that one that great man of god satan has taken in fact satan is even the one financing him so where 
are the people jesus spoke to me recently said you know i don't have pastors i understood what he meant i understood what he meant where are they is it a name that makes a pastor is it a congregation that makes a pastor righteousness and holiness that is what makes a minister but thank god for righteous ministers wherever they are whichever city they are whichever church they are they are the joy and the delight of the lord and all the pastors of holy more i enlist you into this pastors righteous pastors holy pastors that give jesus joy you are my joy i'm bursting before the lord you are my glory you are my joy i rejoice because i present to you holy i present you to jesus holy perfect people of his delight and joy and you are making it you are making it in one of the revelations of jesus he said many in holiness revival movement are still sitting down on the on the narrow way some are crawling some are walking with their buttocks but some are standing and are moving forward there are people that have understood this thing they are the joy of the lord they are the joy of jesus oh my brother make yourself a joy of jesus the original my sister make yourself a joy to jesus be original don't bleed his heart those that bleed his heart as are in his left hand side they are the ones that are causing his blood to be spilled every day but we are those that are comforting him we are those that are wiping the tears of jesus and are putting a smile in his mouth and he smiles he's joyful with us righteous victorious over satan victorious over devils victorious over witches and wizards victorious over their poison victorious over their attacks victorious over everything wow the prince of this world cometh and he seeth nothing in me he findeth nothing in me nothing to accuse me before the father nothing to accuse me before me if i speak go he must go because he knows paul he knows jesus he knows paul wow paul was righteous a righteous preacher and when you are righteous satan will know you your voice will be obeyed and that is how all the grip of satan would be broken all the people satan has taken captive they will be set free i said they will be set free and with this higher power exercised sinners are free drunkards are free witches and wizards are free occulting people are free they're delivered they're delivered immoral people are set free worldly people are set free righteousness is shining because of the authority of the righteous authority of the righteous jesus is happy why because the souls of men the souls of women and of children are turning from sin and satan in repentance and faith on the lord jesus souls of men souls of women are turning turning away from sin turning away and are coming now to jesus rejecting satan speaking to satan on his face will reject you making jesus happy you don't know how satan has been taunting jesus satan is stubborn you don't know how he taunts him he came to him 
came one of these times by revelation and said, You say you made the world. You said you died for the world. Where are the people you died for? Everybody is coming to me. Everybody is coming to me. Where are your people? Where are your people? Hey. Just about a month in December, we were in one of these places. And something happened. I got the report and I went to handle the matter. A particular chapter leader was, I mean, the report about it was constantly coming to the state coordinator. So they wanted to get the matter settled. So when investigation was going on, he carried his bag and left the place. I say I have left holiness of our movement in this state he went so I went to do judgment but before I went to handle the case that early morning the Lord had given me the judgment already the judgment was written I wrote down the judgment the Lord said, go and tell that chapter leader. When they were meeting in that place to discuss this matter, both Satan and myself were there. There's a contest going on. You don't do what Satan does to Jesus. How he laughs at him. But Jesus, what will the Lord do? We won't torment me before the time. The time is there and God is the God of time. But for now, for because we are flesh and blood, he also himself likewise took part of the shame. That he might destroy him that has the power of death and give unto us life and salvation. He became as us. It is because of us that he took upon him human flesh. Who is certain to stand before God? Who is, who is a, co a, a private to stand before the general? And yet more than that. So, Jesus said, Both I and Satan, where there, Satan is the author of confusion. He is the God of hatred. He is the one staring bitterness in your life. He is the power of suppression, disunity among you. But I am the God of love, of peace. I am your savior. If you have any problem, I will save you. That's why I was there. And when that young man carried his back and walked away and said bye-bye to holiness movement, he had, I am holiness movement. He walked away in my walk away upon me and said and laugh. I am holding this survival movement. Holding this is my soul. He rejected me and I am sitting down. He carried his back and walked out in rebellion. Get that person out of that walk. He will suffer before he comes back. That's the word. Get him out. What a distance. He, he despised me. There's a sin against the Son of Man that can still be forgiven. He despised me. Sitting down there, he walked away, walked away and allowed Satan to laugh me to scorn. Bah! To have a people, to have a righteous people to have a new people gentle and patient humble giving glory to God in the presence of Satan and Satan cannot accuse them there's nothing Satan can say about them than to justify them and say Paul I know what a joy to Jesus what a joy Jesus is happy that people are turning from sin they're turning from unrighteousness they're turning from wickedness 
that turning to him he will look at the devil and smile you see my death brought this once my suffering brought this one my sacrifice brought this one you will make jesus happy today yeah. everything that is in your life you will live where satan is and walk to jesus yeah. you will walk to jesus yeah. and let him rejoice let him smile let him be glad that you have honored him in the presence of satan Will you do it? Yes. Will you do it? Yes. It will be a good day. Then say, Lord, today no more immorality in my life. What a joy. What a good news. What a good news in the ears of Jesus. Today no more witchcraft in my life. Wonderful. Be, you won't be an agent of darkness anymore. What a victory of Jesus. What a joy and celebration in heaven one soul that repented all the one soul that repented if you will come forward and reveal your backslidings and say i backslid i need restoration angels will clap hands upon the, the head of the devil yes there's a contest going on over there between god and the devil Jesus is a contest. So he is happy on this side. He said, Who is for Jesus? We raise up our hands. On the other side, who is for Jesus? The people put down their hands. Some even say, Right, six, six is on our back to show that we are permanently rejecting him. But we are for him. I want to announce to you there's peace here today. There's joy here today because we are fully here for Jesus I am not here for myself I am not preaching for myself I'm not seeking your honor I'm not seeking any material gain from your life nothing but the glory of Jesus the glory of the Father that's why we are here and that's why God is fully with us yes Jesus is happy why because righteousness holiness and truth now is permeating the churches of christ in the world people are knowing it people are imbibing imbibing it yes righteousness of your heart and life i came from a church i preached there last sunday i told the women there i said give us three give, just count three years in three years time if they see you with airing on the street you are a stranger hallelujah hallelujah righteousness is reviving righteousness is reviving to the point that the sinners who don't walk and not repent will still have to imitate righteousness because they say this is what rains now you know there are people who go who follow what is raining no airing who shall rain and even sinners will know that if they want honor at all and recognition they should remove the earrings i'm telling you righteousness truth examination bodies are recognizing this by the amount of restitution that is going to them i cheated in my exam i cheated in my exam the number is increasing schools shall learn this that doing explore is no more a help but death they're spreading among among the children because they shall come back tomorrow and they shall call your name a particular student in college of education was asked to give money for his project he said no i will write this project he said no the teachers our our supervisor said we should contribute money say i can't contribute the money so the supervisor became angry so called him to come and when he came he said contribute the money 
Say, sir, I will write. I cannot do it. I say, contribute this money. Say, okay, sir. Now, under one condition. You know, I am a Christian. If I do a thing wrong, I have to repent of it and do restitution. Under the condition that I will contribute this money and eventually go to the rector of this school and told him that I contributed money instead of writing my project that I'm seeking forgiveness that they, they, I contributed money and I will tell them that you were the one who made me to contribute money they must say don't do it again don't do it again righteousness is bringing up holiness is bringing up truth is bringing up pastors are losing their members I said pastors are losing their members tribal power over church members is not working it's no more working ah, it's the church of our tribe that one doesn't work anymore because the eyes of the people are opening to righteousness they are cleaning themselves they are establishing themselves I want you to know that in the next three years greater presence of God shall be felt in this nation greater presence of God shall be felt in the world if the rapture has not taken place yes and Jesus is happy Jesus for a long time for a long time for a long time i'm telling you for a long time i'm saying these things we were in abakaleke we were worshiping god there real worship it was a beautiful worship that time the lost pop he said this is wonderful even, even my angels remarked that for a long time they had never joined a congregation on earth in this pure worship coming out of people cringed no malice no jealousy no pride original people from their leaders down to, to the congregation the purging of the lord is among them their voice is sweet hallelujah i say hallelujah my wife was saying that the voice of the sister that was speaking from heaven last week was the voice was so exquisite so excellent so beautiful that even to imitate that voice she's not able to do it the beauty of god the wonders of god in holy people washed with the blood of jesus jesus is happy with us jesus is happy with us is happy because there's brotherly love and unity springing up among the churches of god who now embrace the faith once delivered unto the saints the people who are in catholic are looking for truth they come to discover the truth the people in baptist are looking for truth they come to discover the truth the people in assemblies of god in redeem in living faith in fact even in jehovah's witness and in various places they're discovering this truth and they're coming together i said they are coming together they are coming together worshiping one god having one voice appearing in the same way embracing the doctrine of righteousness and holiness hallelujah greater things are still happening there's love sincerely look at these people they're from different churches that are here different churches but see how they appear see how women appear one way because our god is one because the bible is one and we agree we our hearts agree with one another in real love why how what, what makes us to be divided sin cost it sin is the reason for division pride i am holier oh i am greater i am rich i am what this way the things that separated us but that middle wall of partition has been broken by jesus and now he's uniting us the lord has united us together i don't care what church you belong to but as far as in jesus we stand if by grace you have been saved as i have been saved then you are my brother you are my sister let's move together let's have god together that's what god is doing and that's why you're here your church is not in the, the thing we're seeking to promote it's 
Jesus that should be promoted. Those who promote their churches and denominations have missed the gospel of Christ. You have turned off. Your faith has gone to another thing. Those who are promoting preachers have missed the gospel of Christ. It means all the beauties of God in my life. You don't need it because you have a preacher. Then you don't, you don't have the fullness of Jesus. You don't have it. That's what it means. Because he said, I, whether it is Cephas, all things are yours. Whether it's Paul or Apollos or Cephas or the world to come or the world present, all things are yours. And you belong to Christ. And Christ belongs to God. That's what God is doing in our day. Bringing out anywhere where we can find a true preacher. You say, yes, you're one of us. You're our brother. You're one of us. You're our sister. We love it. You are doing this out of a pure heart. You are a delight to our God. You are a blessing to our God. We want to hear you. Amen. Amen. Jesus is happy. Because now, the people have desire to go to heaven who was talking of heaven before did they even know heaven existed did they even bother about heaven do they go to church for heaven over there no they go to church for blessings they shall inherit the earth so the theme of some people this year is heaven on earth all we know about heaven is the, is the earth here we want it that's it but now we have people we have people whose hearts have been lifted up to heaven their hearts are lifted up they are desiring the rapture they are saying come Lord Jesus they are ready we are ready oh Lord we are prepared for you Lord we have put everything in everything in order that's the voice of saints on earth today. Free inviting Jesus. Come, Lord Jesus. The Lord whom you look for shall soon come. Amen. So there's joy. There's joy. Jesus is happy. We are happy. Then I conclude. Verse 24 verse 23 and 24 and he taught him unto his disciples and said privately blessed are the eyes which see the things that you see blessed are you that see these things see these things in your day someone was saying that if Jesus had come in 2012, I wouldn't have been among those who would make it to heaven. Why? I, I was a pastor. I was a preacher for many years. I preached to outside Nigeria, outside country. But I'm saying, if Jesus had come before I knew Holiness Revival Movement, I would have not made it to heaven. And that's true that's true it may not be the report on everybody but for himself and maybe for who is there anybody here again that if jesus had come before you came here is there anybody here again if jesus had come before you knew holiness movement you would have never met him is there anybody here i say is there anybody here that's wonderful that's it so blessed are your eyes for what they see and your ears for what they hear for i tell you that many prophets and kings have desired to see those things that ye see and have not seen them and to hear those things which ye hear and have not heard them therefore be careful with your life be careful with this gospel we present to you be careful with this life we present to you be careful with this preaching doctrines we set before you beautiful doctrine for heaven beautiful life be careful with the meetings don't be don't be careless with it the lord brought forth holiness revival movement the lord brought forth holiness revival movement 
I will tell you a story. I told you last Sunday we were somewhere is out. We were in that place. So we ministered. You know, such denomination as I knew it resists our gospel. All the gospel of holiness, they know. No, they in fact I heard of one of them, one of their pastors that practically hate, hates me. And people are wondering, what did I do to him? Practically. Another one of them began to write a book to counteract the use of earring and palming your hair. The no, dog, there's nothing wrong about that. It's a serious case. Serious. But I now wrote, I now sent in from, I sent to the pastor in a particular, uh, the particular town where we wanted to hold a program. I said, I will be holding program here. And from here, I will be going up. I wish to come to your place, which is just a short time, and spend up that Sunday, morning and evening with your people. Can I come? So, they went to him and told him that this is what I said he sent back to me and said uh, he was going to meet with his elders and that I will have the information as to what will be the result on Wednesday he knew the danger of it so they met together with the elders to deliberate some will say ah okay we have to inform the synod the authority let them not hear that he came here knowing the stand the the authority has against his preaching let them not say he came here okay but as they all concluded he said well i can i know him uh, you people know him uh -uh, we cannot i will not go to be waiting for any authority anywhere I am releasing this place for him to come and preach and I'm going to be responsible for any decision any person anywhere wants to take against me I have accepted it he is coming here we are not taking permission from anywhere so because I went to that church our brother who is senator also came along with me there and the senator also has some they, they, they have some people under him uh, the chairman of two local governments around that place followed him all into the into the church a thing that had never happened before they so encouraged so policemen so everything say, eh, our church here today yes it's your church it's your church then as the service went on during their own announcement they were talking about the a ball hole in the church they were instructing their members that please you know when dry season now there's no much water let's be careful with this ball hole and please don't be struggling there let's do things peacefully there and manage how we can have water so now they say okay we have some men here we need to hear them at as is uh, some dignitaries here we want to hear them they call the one chairman he came and spoke and when he spoke the local government chairman he said well he had been hearing of pastor porica it's a privilege to see him today yes. hallelujah yes. and that it is through his oga who is the senator that he's able to come in here well as for that bohold they were talking about he has given them eighty thousand to prepare it wonderful hallelujah Amen. i say hallelujah Amen. then the chairman of that local government who have never come to that place he said we have been busy i've been hearing of pastor porica it's a privilege for me to see him now hey my old god the senator have been talking to me about him constantly well the, the church was bigger than this place with a gallery he said i've seen that you have not painted your church well, whatever effort you are making about painting church, don't paint again i am taking over hallelujah Amen. then the senator came and said that you welcome 
holiness revival movement to come in here and preach on diluted gospel to you i appreciate you pastor and all your elders i i want to i appreciate you for what my political friends have said i have added one million for this church one million era. everybody was in eh, eh, eh. at that time the lord was singing in the heart of my wife anywhere he went he was doing good Almighty healer, he healed the lepers when the cripples saw him. They started walking. Even today, my Lord is doing. The Lord said, Tell them when I was on earth. I, the Bible said of me, I went about doing good. The same thing today, that churches have been standing at the door, ministers and their elders, to prevent my doctrine, to, pray, to reject me from entering in among my people. But because you, pastor, and your elders welcome me in, I have released my goodness upon your life. I will grant the desires of your heart as you continue with me in righteousness and holiness I will bless you I will be with you it's not that God loves us above every other person in the name of uh, just love us no there's a reason why he loves us there's a reason righteousness and holiness there's a reason why he's behind us righteousness and holiness committed the Lord said I am holy more welcoming these people is welcoming me in that's what jesus said and today the lord will welcome you Amen. you're ready for righteous living you're ready to come to serve jesus he's going to welcome you because he's here rise up upon your feet the lord is here he's going to welcome you if you open your heart unto jesus Open your heart unto Jesus. You will see him coming in. I stand at the door of your heart and I'm knocking. You backslided. But you can come back. I will accept you and restore you again. I will wash you again. Close your eyes and go to God and say, Lord, here am I. I'm ready to follow you in righteousness. To give you joy. I am ready that this sin in my life should be removed so that you can be joyful. Tell the Lord about it. Tell the Lord He's here to do you good. Jesus is here rejoicing. God is happy with us. God is happy. My brother, I'm announcing to you for that righteous and holy life you're living. God is happy. God you want to make him happy you will not allow one sin to be your life you want to be a true minister preaching this word without iniquity the other ones make him to bleed make him to jaw 
with righteousness collect righteousness from him and demonstrate it before him collect righteousness from God and demonstrate it before him with his own grace ask him you will be righteous let him make you righteous Lord to bleed make him rather to jaw make God happy make God happy make God happy let Jesus rejoice before the Lord and ask him to cleanse you make God happy don't make him sorrowful with his righteousness blessed are they the hunger and thirst after righteousness for they shall be filled to make Jesus happy it's time for people to take away sin from their lives and put on righteousness and that is just what is required to make Jesus happy he wants to he wants to rejoice over your life you have backslidden you know you fell in you fell into sin you know your your God is not happy you are a sinner you're doing sins that you know you know it god is not happy but you are sorry 
you are repentant now you are ready to turn away from it you are ready for a change of life can you raise up your hand before the lord make jesus happy thorough repentance thorough repentance make jesus happy. open your mouth and be telling him god i repent tell him i'm sorry that i made you sorrowful i'm sorry to make you sorrowful lord forgive me lord forgive me i made you sorrowful forgive me i made satan to laugh at you forgive me forgive me plead with him endlessly plead with him endlessly You don't need him. Take him to live your life. Tell Satan to live your life. covered with the blood the blood of Jesus I am covered with the blood the blood of Jesus I say I am covered up and down with the blood of Jesus. I say you are covered in and out with the blood of Jesus. I say you are covered front and back with the blood of Jesus. I am covered with the blood and the blood of Jesus. I say I am covered with the blood and the blood of Jesus. I say you are covered with the blood and the blood of Jesus. I am covered in the blood, the blood of Jesus. Amen. Yes, you who are backsliding, you have seen you want to raise, give your life to Christ. Raise it up again. Raise up that hand again. Okay, you can now come forward. You can now come forward.
I am covered with the blood and the blood of Jesus. Just be coming forward. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. I say you are covered with the blood and the blood of Jesus. I say you are covered with the blood, the blood of Jesus. I am covered in the blood. Come forward, come forward. The blood of Jesus. I say I am covered with the blood. And the blood of Jesus. I am covered in the blood, the blood of Jesus. In Jesus' name. Amen. Just raise your hand and begin to talk to your father. You know where you have backslidden. You know those areas of your life that you're coming short. You know those areas that Satan has been cheating you. Tonight is your night of victory. Tonight is your night of overcoming. Ask Jesus to come into your life. Ask him to have mercy upon you. Ask him to wash your life, to cleanse your life. Jesus made a promise that if you come unto me, I will receive you unto myself. You have come unto Jesus, not unto any man. Just open your mouth and talk to him. Ask him to have mercy upon your soul. Ask him, Lord, forgive my sin. Lord, I come to you tonight with all of my heart. Lord, I am repenting. I'm coming back to you. Because you are my creator. Tonight, I am rejecting the devil. I am rejecting Satan in all his ramifications. He has not created me. You have created me. You designed me for a purpose. You created me for a reason. I come back tonight. I surrender my life. I offer you my life tonight. Wash away my sins. Those things that have brought enmity and separation between you and I. Jesus, take them away tonight. I am sorry for my sins. Lord, I am sorry for my sins. You know those things that you have been doing. Call them by their names. Reject them tonight forever. In the name of Jesus, he will show you mercy tonight. The Lord is in this place. Jesus is in this place. Jesus is in this place and he is here for you. He is here for you. Lord, save my soul. Lord, save my soul. Save my soul from sin. Save me from Satan. Save me from hell. Save me from condemnation. I return to you tonight. I return to you, my Lord. Come into my heart, Jesus. Come and be my Lord and my Savior. I pledge my allegiance to you tonight. Lord Jesus, have your way in my life. I surrender my life totally, 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 totally. I will serve you from now till the end of time, till the end of my life. Goodbye to the world. Say goodbye to the world. Say goodbye to Satan. There is no profit. There is no gain whatsoever. There is nothing that the enemy can give to you. Jesus loves you so much. Jesus loves you so much. Lord, have mercy on me. Lord, have mercy on me. Talk to the Lord. Talk to the Lord. Talk to Jesus. In Jesus' name, we pray. Just lift up your hands to Jesus. It's a sign of I surrender. Say, Lord Jesus, I come to you tonight. Because I know I am a sinner. And I cannot save myself. Lord Jesus, thank you for dying for my sin on the cross. To save me from Satan and to save me from hell. I am sorry for my too many sins. I 
repent for my sins tonight and I ask you to forgive my sins cleanse me thoroughly with your blood tonight wash away my sins Lord Jesus come into my heart tonight and be my Lord and my Savior save me from sin save me from the world and save me from Satan Lord I pledge my life to you tonight to serve you in holiness in righteousness and in truth all the days of my life thank you for saving me tonight in Jesus name Amen as we pray Father we thank you for tonight we bless you for your children that you have gathered unto yourself tonight thank you for sending your word from heaven the pure water of the world the undiluted word of God Lord for the salvation of your children and tonight they have come to you Lord Jesus Lord you promise in your word that no one that comes unto you you will cast away in any wise that in this one they have come to you tonight confessing their sins and their shortcomings asking for your mercy father we are asking that your mercy will come from heaven and touch their life tonight in jesus name oh lord we are praying that no one standing here represented shall return back to the world again shall return back to sin again shall return back to satan again those things that have rejected tonight shall remain rejected forever in their lives in their destiny in their calling in the name of jesus thank you for saving them blessed be to your name for in jesus name we pray now everybody will stand up i want to pray for you before you remain standing here can everybody stand up upon your feet the lord should pour some blessing upon your life tomorrow our mommy linda will be speaking to you in a special way on saturday we'll be ministering to you specially prayer so we're going to have fasting and prayer on saturday is that clear whatever your needs your sicknesses and your diseases we have the commission from the lord to heal them so gather the city before the lord on saturday well from today forward tomorrow morning we're going to be here i'm preaching the message tomorrow morning you need to hear that message you need it amen, amen. so the lord will really bless you in this program make sure you gather people here telephone calls to people that about they should be here tomorrow morning and in the evening it will be wonderful saturday i say what should happen can also tell god about your need that which you want god to do for you please ask him on saturday tell him to remain remember you so that when we are praying that should be the end of that your situation amen. something good will happen in your life amen raise up your hand to heaven before the lord almighty god we worship these people are before you for your blessing they are your children you have saved them you have washed them you have sanctified them god you have restored them what it means bless them and equip them give them your power give them your victory touch the life of everyone they will go here rejoicing let the peace of god rest upon them in the name of jesus let them have the victory of sonship let the victory of jesus surround them deliver them deliver them heal them break their yokes in the name of jesus provide their needs father Thank you lord for answering god tomorrow morning you'll be here with us tomorrow evening you'll be here with us saturday prayer and fasting god begin to do your work from the morning in jesus name we pray 
The message you have just listened to is a production of Holiness Revival Movement Worldwide. Holiness Revival Movement Worldwide is a non-denominational ministry that is given to the propagation of Christ's righteousness and holiness in churches and nations of the world through crusades, revival meetings, production, and spread of holiness literature and materials. For other spiritual materials, messages, or inquiry, contact us on 0813-635-6813 and 0805-683-4318. You can also reach us through our email address, holinessrevivalmovement at gmail.com. God bless you. For God so loved the world, that He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in Him should not perish, but have everlasting life. For God sent not His Son into the world, condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. Hallelujah. Jesus, I believe in you. You are my Lord and Savior. I believe Say
I believe you, Lord, cause you 